What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Now that that is done, we can get started. In today's video, I am in a different spot than my normal filming spot because I am going to be making a rave bra and I'm going to show you guys how I usually go about making my rave bras. Um, also, please excuse the uh, glitter happening. This is not my daily look. Um, I just filmed a tutorial on how I apply my face glitter for festival season, so look out for that. I'll either put a card here or a link down in the description. As we get ready for festival season, rave bras are a really fun way to go um, if you're trying to figure out what outfit you want to wear. So uh, I have EDC coming up. If you guys are new to this channel, I do a lot of EDC content and rave content, so I will also put a link to all my videos on that if you are interested. Rave bras are fun. They're really not that difficult to make. I'll show you guys all the materials that I use, and I'll sort of speed this up a little bit because um, you'll see why this takes me a couple hours to finish, but I will film a portion of it. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, don't forget to subscribe. La, 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 la. I can't talk today. Because it's late. It's like almost 8 p.m. on a Friday. This is what I do on my Fridays. Am I the only one? I don't know. Comment below what you guys are doing um, this upcoming weekend. Let me know. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you guys don't miss out on any of the fun content I have coming up. But without uh, further ado, let's just get on into this. To start, you're going to want to buy a cheap bra and I say cheap because I don't know how many times you're gonna be wearing this to be honest with you you probably don't want to ruin a $50 Victoria's Secret bra so today I am using a nude bra this is from Target I buy almost all of my rave bras from Target because you can usually get two for like $18 or something crazy like this um, yes I know that this looks huge okay some of us big chested ladies have uh, big boobs and you know that's just the way the world is I just wanted to go with tan I've used white I've used pink I've used black I've painted the bras before today we're going to be applying the the gems directly to the bra going with a, a sort of like a blue green and gold theme so all my gems here are from Michaels I have these like really big gems um, that are all like blue and aqua this is an, a random just assortment but you can see in here um, we've got some greens and I'm primarily going to be using the golds in this box and in this last box I think this was originally ocean blue You'll see this is where all my greens um, and my blues are going to be coming from, and these are smaller than the original gems. So I'm mixing those three together. I've got my glue gun here plugged in with my extra glue sticks. Usually what I do before I make a rave bra is I kind of map it out in my mind. Pinterest has a ton of ideas. Instagram has a ton of ideas. But I like to have a general clue of what I'm going to do. No matter what, when you glue everything down to the bra, um, it just sort of ends up looking awesome because you can always just cover it with gems and call it a day. You don't even have to have a pattern or a rhyme or reason. Um, I have done stuff on the back as well. I would say that if you're going to cover the back of the bra, space things out. When I put them all across and then I put it on my body and this stretched to fit my body, a bunch of the gems popped off. So if I put anything on the back, I usually scatter them throughout the back of the bra. Um, and also if you're wearing a camel back or something like that, you're going to cover the back of your bra anyway. So just keep that in mind. If you have smaller boobs and a smaller bra, this probably won't take you as long. But usually a bra like this, this size will probably take me like three hours to complete um, depending on how much time. But I got my wine here. I got my Netflix. I'm going to be putting on a documentary of some kind. And yeah, you guys will just come along with me and we'll make this rave bra together. So... Now that we're at a really weird angle and you're going to stare at my boobs the whole video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ocean blue gems and I got a plate here and I'm going to pour them into this plate just because it gives me um, a better view of what's in here. So there I can pick my gems so much easier when it's all laid out like this. Um, these bigger ones over here uh, are easy to pick through. So usually what I like to do is sort of like map it out how I'm going to do the bra. So I want to use these sort of like teardrop shaped gems and I'll place everything on here first just to see placement and then I'll glue it on and then the more you go um, the less you really have to place it on. Something like that and then maybe these two like there under it. These off. I use a generous amount of glue when I do this. And apply it directly to the bra. And it's just like a little tedious to just sit here and glue on all these tiny gems, but it's fun. If you don't have anything to do, just pop on a movie or some music and have fun with it. So we've got that.
a document. This is the first side done with all the big gems. Like that's about as far out as I want to go. I'm lo like I love how it looks in the viewfinder here because I can, can sort of like see it from far back rather than like staring at it up close but I'm really happy with the way this is turning out so I'm gonna finish the rest of this because it's taking forever and then you will see it when it's all done I'm almost done here's where we are so the entire bra is done technically I'm actually so happy with the way this came out I think on the tan bra this gold and green just looks really good and I like the pops of blue. Okay guys, we're done. The final bra, you can see I added a pop of pink to the bottom. I saw those gems and I was like, you know what? We could mix this up a little bit. So this is the whole thing. And then I added some gems just to each side of the straps. Um, and I ended up leaving the back empty. I kind of like the tan popping through, but essentially this is what it would look like on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned how to make one. It does take a lot of time. I mean, it's tedious. I just watched the entire Lady Gaga documentary and now I can't stop watching past Super Bowl performances. So that's how my Friday night is going. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend and a great week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.